Welcome to the 2020 Virtual Candidate Forum. Our desire is to create informed voters by giving the Plant City community an opportunity to meet every candidate on their ballot. At the Greater Plant City Chamber of Commerce, we are a connector and convener in the community of current and rising leaders. When we all work together, we are Plant City Strong. This event would not be possible without community involvement. We would like to thank Tampa Electric, Fried Egg Productions, South Florida Baptist Hospital, the Hillsborough County Farm Bureau, and the many other generous supporters. Without further ado, let's hear from this candidate. Hello, my name is Stephen Hollenkamp. I am a member of the Greater Plant City Chamber of Commerce, and I have the pleasure of serving on the Government Affairs Committee. Our committee has prepared a few questions for every candidate on the ballot running for a position that will represent residents of the Plant City community. Today, I am here with Mark Proctor, who is running for Soil and Water Conservation, District 4. Mark, will you please give us a quick introduction of yourself so our viewers can get to know you? Sure. Uh, first of all, I'm, I'm the current chairman of the Hillsborough Soil and Water Conservation District. I got elected six years ago. I got elected to a four-year term. At the end of my four-year term, there was an opening on the board. The board appointed me to fulfill that term, and now I'm running for, I guess, would be my third, third, uh, third time around on the Soil and Water Conservation District. Um, I have been involved in many uh, activities over the years in uh, Hillsborough County, particularly I live in the Brandon area. Our offices are in Plant City, so we do uh, spend a lot of time in Plant City. Uh, I don't know if you want me to talk about the Soil and Water Conservation District, or we'll talk about that later, but as far as me, uh, I, uh, like I said, I'm the current chairman, very involved in the Soil and Water Conservation District, and looking forward to getting reelected. All right. Uh, Mark, can you tell us why are you running for office again? Well, the reason I'm running is we've got a lot of uh, projects that are still unfunded, or excuse me, un uh, we haven't finished the projects. Um, when I first got on the board, one of my questions was, what is the Soil and Water Conservation District? What do we do? And we went out and, 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 I, and I'll take partial credit. It was in a combined effort, but we started the Hillsborough 100 uh, conservation project in which we've asked 100 organizations uh, to get involved in, in doing things on behalf of our uh, current natural resources and protecting our environment. And we had to cancel it this year because of like everything else is crazy. So we want to make sure that we have a very successful uh, project going forward. All right. Next, please tell me what does soil, water, and conservation do and Great. why do we need it? Great question. Now, first of all, Soil and Water Conservation District was started uh, many, many years ago before most of us were born during the Dust Bowl. And what had happened was farmers had, were, were taking care of the land and as a result, uh, there was a built up of soil erosion that spread all over the country. Uh, U.S. Congress passed the Soil and Water Conservation District so that each community, were, there are currently over 2,000 soil and water conservation districts around the country. Florida's got 60 of them. And what we do is we act as an, um, a local liaison between the federal government, the state government, and local agencies that are involved in protecting our soil and water so that we don't have a recurrence. Our local board, um, is involved in uh, a lot of education projects in the, in the high schools, the poster contests and speech contests and things to inform the younger people about how important it is to protect our natural resources. And then we, we, uh, we gain our fees through um, helping the local uh, agriculture community and large landowners uh, that want to put a well on their property and things like that. So we're very interactive. Uh, in the local community and we're kind of a sounding board in many cases at our board meetings we'll have representatives from Swift Mud, the State uh, Department of Agriculture, we'll have people from the federal government, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, we act as a local liaison and educational uh, 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 network. Okay. If you're reelected, what do you plan to do for the Plant City community? 
Well, one of the main things we want to do is is we want to expand our, our Hillsborough 100 soil and water, our, our Hillsborough 100 uh, conservation project. We're already involved in Plant City, but we'd like to expand that more. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, agricultural interests in Plant City. We'd like to see a greater interaction with them. We've got very good rapport, but we want to make sure that everybody in the Plant City area is aware of the services we have and that they take advantage of them. Yeah. And what would be your priority in your in your next term? Okay, the, the number one priority is getting our Hillsborough 100 uh, conservation project back on, on track. We started, uh, when we first started, it was a one week program. We started on uh, uh, Earth Day and ended on Arbor Day. It's about a week, week and a half. We've now expanded, it's almost three weeks. We like to expand it to a month. And what we want to do is we want to have organizations throughout Hillsborough County and Plant City and everywhere get involved in that during that period of time and do something uh, in the name of protecting our uh, natural resources. Could be a road cleanup, could be a planting, could be uh, an awareness project, or uh, whatever it might be. And we want to we really want to expand. That's a great program. It's it's gained national attention. We've already received some grants. Uh, to do that as an ongoing program. I would certainly like that to continue. Sounds great, Mark. Well, that's it for our questions. Is there anything else you would like the viewers to know before we go? Well, again, uh, we, we certainly would invite you to open to the public to come to our, our, our meetings. Uh, again, like everything else, we've had to go to the kind of the Zoom effect. Uh, but uh, to, to, to learn more about our, our organization, uh, meet our staff. Betty Jo Tompkins is our executive director, and, and she's out and about in the community all the time. Uh, we're involved with the Chamber of Commerce. We're involved with uh, many organizations because we believe it's very important for our outreach to let people know what we're about and what, what we're there to serve them. And I want to thank you for the time. Uh, we don't get a lot of attention. Uh, the Soil and Water uh, Conservation District don't get a lot of attention. Uh, but it's very important. We've got several candidates that are running, and we really want to see a, a good representation on our board. But again, thank you for having this today. Wonderful. Well, thank you, Mark. We appreciate your time. You're welcome.